This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Allen versus Anderson. You all have been together for 17 years. You're married, but you're currently separated. And whether this separation ends in a reunification or a divorce all depends on what happens here today. Am I right, Ms. Allen? Yes, yes Your, Your Honor. Honor. Now, you've opened up this case. The stakes are high. Please explain. Well, her and Mr. Anderson, Anderson they've been together for 17 years. years. They've, they've been, been separated, separated, living out of the household together for the last year. year. Wow. wow. Exactly. Uh, me and Mr. So her and Mr. Anderson uh, relationship has been up and down, down peaks, peaks and, and valleys for a minute now. Uh, it, it all determines what, what happens. They have dated, dated since they've been, been separated. separated. They discuss the getting back together since they've been separated. But for her, she cannot get back together with Mr. Anderson unless she finds out if he cheated or not. It is not. These divorce papers will be signed before we leave here today if he did cheat. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. I'm ready. So everything, your marriage in total, is at stake here today. Yes, Judge. Exactly. All right, Mr. Anderson. Yeah. She says this, you all have been through peaks and valleys in your relationship. This, this is either going to be the valleyest of the valley. Yes, it is. Valley valley is valleyest of the valley. Yeah, okay, right, okay, Mr. Okay, Cutler, I'm going to let you have yeah, that the word. Valleyest of the valley. I mean, it doesn't even get more, more crucial, crucial than this. this. That's true. She said, she said it depends, depends on, on what happens, happens here today. today. Whether we find Whether we out, find out you're if you're going to be together or you're, you're going to be separated because, because she's accusing you of cheating. You of cheating. How, How does that, that make you feel? feel? Well, it bothers me because uh, it's always been an accusation. It's, it's, it's always somebody or something. And I spend so much time trying to prove I love her. I've always loved her. She's been a very special person to me for a very long time. The accusations do get overwhelming. Uh, so I guess today will settle whether we're going to continue or not because I know I haven't done anything wrong. So when this comes out, I think I'll take the joy in her apology and uh, working forward to being together again. Wow. <laughs> okay. You know, it's funny because uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, she came into, uh, I work at a nursing home. I've always worked in nursing homes. And uh, she actually pulled up to the job one day, runs inside the nursing home grabs a book with all the employees' names and numbers, and uh, apparently she called them. You know, which I thought was a very bold move. I guess that was her way of trying to figure out if I was cheating with someone inside the nursing home I was working in at the you time. You was. She called your co-workers. Yes, she did, embarrassing me. Mm, okay, did, she okay. Think did you think you were sleeping residents? with the residents? No, the, 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 Wow. Wow. The employee, the female employees of the nursing home. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, that's a relief. Whoa. But <laughs> I mean, did, well, did you, you do that? that? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, we did. did. Okay. Yes, you did. Okay. Yes, I well, did. Yes, we did. I, it, it wasn't a book, it wasn't a book of the residents. residents it was a book of employees who worked there. there. Okay. So you called his co-workers. Mm -hmm. And one co-worker said, yes, we I are used still working here. And, I knew and a she used to work lady. here, and then she knew a specific young lady. But she called her, and she gave up the name of the young lady that he was seeing at the nursing home. She went to the nursing home to get her book a try, but to get her information, because Mr. Anderson was actually at her house when she was digging through the book. So, um, yes, she called this woman, but to speak to her. And that was her boyfriend. Did she know that he was in a relationship with you? I didn't know he was we didn't, in a relationship. He didn't know she was in a relationship. He was so he smart. He was so, he was so negligent. Yeah, I, was so I was so impressed by him. About him. Um, I thought that and I, I thought was I was dating, dating him. him. I didn't know anything, anything about him. him. He tells, he tells her that's his friend. And why does a friend lie on you? No, no, no. What led to your separation? How did you get to that point? Good question. Mr. Anderson is a serial cheater. Once a cheater, always a cheater. But he doesn't even get caught, so he believes that he cannot be convicted without any physical evidence. Wow. I am tired. And we are tired of him getting caught in those situations with all those different females that he tells her that are friends. Every last one of his friends had a different spinning off of his version of the side of the story. That led to me... And it took me uh, to get strong enough but to walk away from that. Because she doesn't even want to be in a, a relationship where she's at the third party. And she doesn't even want to do that. And then she got tired.
What was the last straw? What broke this camel's back that said, okay, I'm out. We're separated. He ended To be honest, he ended up in the hospital and we bought some exhibits for the court, but to prove. I'll step to the monitor with her. Fine. Okay. So, Mr. Anderson got sick. This is the 30 days of cheating paper. November. A day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving's Eve, he had to but to be rushed to the emergency room. And we went to the hospital. He had to be having a emergency surgery. He had an ulcer perfoxinated in his stomach. And as we're sitting there, we go through his phone. And the first thing I said was a, a hey, big head text. And then where she's from, hey, big head is a side chick lingo. And they were supposed to go to club together, okay? To be honest, Mr. Anderson decided at the last minute he wasn't going to go. She went to the party alone. And when she came home from the club, Mr. Anderson had locked her out of the house. I left the state. She left the state with a, a family member. And when she came home that evening, and when she he woke up that morning, and the first thing that he said to her, I don't even want to do this. I don't want you no more. I don't even want this marriage no more. And I am leaving you. And what happened after that, uh, he, he decided that well, he was going to go to leave, to go to New York, to stay with a family member. And he no longer wanted them in the relationship that was prior to five days up to him leaving to go to New York. And we look in his face and we told him, and if you don't want me, this is the, the last time that you're going to actually tell me in my face that you don't even want me. And I meant that. So what she decided to do was but to let him go. And you want to leave? Leave. A day that he decides before to leave, oh, well, I'm going to leave it to go to New York, but I'm coming back. And I'm going to stay with a family member. And it returns to the house with a backache. What, what's the significance of that? To be honest, some of the significance, okay, is that Mr. Anderson has um, about two operations on his back. He has rod and screws in his bag. He cannot take travel, even in a, a car or a bus or a train or even on a plane. And then a longer than half an hour and an hour and a half. And Mr. Anderson claims that he was in New York City. They're in Connecticut. That's less than a ride. But he claims that that's where he was. But once he came home, his body was exhibiting a behavior of a much longer trip. And they had back spasm. They had leg shaking. You couldn't even sleep at night. And we had to get up. But to make you heating, heating pads for his body to go to sleep. Your girlfriend shouldn't even did that. She literally the only one you went to see. So you think the fact that he came home with a backache means that he was, you know, a longer distance than New I believe York? That he and I believe it that he traveled from Connecticut to Georgia. Why Georgia? To be honest, the young lady lives in Georgia. And then once she contacted her, she lives in Georgia. And the young lady that he left about to go see. And the hey, and the, hey big hand. Anderson? You know, you left for Mr. 30 Anderson, days. Mr. Anderson, you left for 30 days. Were you in Georgia? Were you in no, Georgia? I was in New York. And, and the reason my back was hurting is because when I was in New York, I was doing street activities and I was up constantly. So the fact that you didn't contact her during this time was just to teach her a lesson. Yeah, like, I just want you to know how it feels. It wasn't because you were with some other no, woman. No, it had nothing to do with that. And I told her that after I came back. I said, I wanted you to know how it feel, but it backfired because she obviously don't feel for me the way I feel for her. Because when she stays out and don't call and I can't reach her, when my wife is going and she's out like that, I worry. Yes, I do. Did you have another point there? Contacted the other woman. Tell me about that. Well, she initially contacted her originally ourselves. We contacted her. As soon as we asked those personal contacting women questions, she blocked and deleted her. But she did get her to respond. And once she started texting her from Mr. Anderson's phone, she catfished her. Yes, she did. And she submitted those messages to the court the hell out of her like the way that she deserved. 
you wrote, you're acting like you didn't even like it. And it could have been better. Our protection? What protection? It's her belief. And it's her belief that she's response is, we, we didn't even use protection while having sex, correct? That's correct. Absolutely. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, thank you. You can step back to the podium, please. Mr. Anderson, who is this woman who responded it could have been better when the text was sent posing as you, you're acting like you didn't like it? Because the, the natural response would have been, what are you talking about? That's what I originally said. When I when I when when all this was brought to me, I was flabbergasted because I really didn't know what was going on. I know the person. Yes, I do know the person. I haven't seen this person in over 35 something years. We were kids. We still ain't seen each other. Her this children, was, her asking children were asking husband. about her husband. How is that possible oh. if you never seen me? What? Well, well, here's, here's the thing. thing. Clearly, we're not going to get a response and an up and down about this woman. Are there any other women that you're concerned about? Let the church say, okay, 17, 17 years, years, 17, 17 different, different women. women. Well, but we're going to go to this one. And she had a family member's neighbor to tell her that he was sleeping with the other neighbor. And after that, how do they know this? Because he was creeping around like, like, around his peeping Tom black ass and like, they are supposedly like, this friend of the, the family. And excuse my language, no disrespect. And the friend of the family said that he heard noises from the whip window. He was on his peeping Tom and he was peeping in the window and told her that he's seeing her husband sleeping with the neighbor. Saw it with his own eyes. Saw, saw it with, with his, his own, own eyes. eyes. And called you and told you this? Exactly, he because he waited it for her to come around and to tell her. He heard noises. Heard noises. So I guess he was so, doing... So I guess he, he was doing a good job at that time. So this friend heard noises. Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. And he goes up and looks. He looks he, through he the window He looks through the, the window. He tells her that her husband was blowing her back out. Uh, those, are those, are, those are his words, exactly. That's what he said, yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. Anderson? Yes, sir. Were you giving it to the neighbor real good? <laughs> like you meant it? <laughs> no. Notice she said this person was the peep of time, which sound kind of creepy, don't you? It well, does. Um, well, it I does. Was I was going to say, ah. Uh, mm. All right, now, first of all, I know this man. Have you seen my wife? Beautiful woman. This man see what I see, but can't have what I got. So, of course, a person like that, that's always trying to get with my queen, gonna say what he wanna say. I'm a smart man. Why would I go to the neighbor house and let make it so that any and everybody can see it? I'm not that stupid. But again, he was after this. I, I just, I gotta, I just say, gotta say, Mr. Cuddler, it, it is creepy that a man says uh, what a friend says. Hey, I heard sexual noises, so I even went to see what was happening. Oh, mm. yes, you may. Go ahead. One story. And it was wasn't a one story, and it was a combination. A complication of him acting crazy and the guy telling her that. So all of these things, the list the, the list that you showed us mm -hmm. and, and submitted as an exhibit, mm -hmm. you said, I'm out. We're separating. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. During the separation, is it A, we have a folks coming so during the break or taking a break of people do whatever do they want to do and it's still married there ain't no such thing as no break no 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 yeah they don't do that don't do that nah we don't we don't do that your testimony to this court is you have not messed around no. during your separation no not at all and you're and also, you're also telling, telling this court, court that, that you have, have not, not messed, messed around, around during your, during your entire 17 year marriage, marriage. Exactly. correct correct okay, okay. Correct. <laughs> and Miss Allen, you're shaking your head no. Because no, no. he's answered the question, you're shaking your head no. <laughs> no, because that's a lie. lie. You, you shouldn't lie, lie in court. Because <laughs> you could be held in contempt. So, you shouldn't lie in court. Judge Cutler? So, Mr. Cutler, what we so have Mr. is Cutler, a marriage on the line. So, Mr. Cutler, it is that what we have a marriage on the line. They've been separated for over than a year. Because this separation came because of the years of distrust. And it sounds like it's in the part of Miss Allen. It all rides on this today. And if she find will she file these divorce papers and when 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 you guys first started or they're gonna be going home together or not? And we have these unanswered and unannounced questions. And to address these unanswered questions, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time the court will call a certified polygraph examiner, Dave Lawrence, to, to determine, determine is, is he, he cheating. cheating?
Good day, Mr. Lawrence. Good day, how are Mr. Lawrence. How are you? How are you? We're good. Thank you. It's good, good to see you. See you. Would, Would you state, you state your, your credentials, credentials, please, for, for the, the court? court? Yes, sir. I'm a retired 30-year law enforcement uh, veteran. I've been a polygraph examiner for the past 26 years. I've conducted thousands of various types of polygraph exams. Wow. Now you conducted a polygraph examination on Mr. Anderson, is that correct? That's correct, sir. Let's take a look at the first you question. You asked Mr. Anderson, since beginning your relationship with Ms. Allen, have you had sexual intercourse with a woman you were communicating with in Georgia? What, what was, was his, his response? response? He said no. What, what did, did the, the lie, lie detector, detector determine? determine? What did the well, lie detector, detector determine? determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Take a deep breath, Ms. Allen. Breathe out. You asked Mr. Anderson, Second question. have you had sexual intercourse with the woman who is the neighbor of Miss Allen's relative? What, what was, was his, his response? response? He said no. What, what did the lie detector, detector determine? determine? The lie detector determined that he was being <laughs> wow, for real? real though? My bad. You're, You're bad. bad. <laughs> Your bad, bad is you serious? Deceptive ain't the same thing to me. Not deceptive mean lie. Come, Come to find out you with everybody. 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 You ain't even got that much money and to spread around. Exactly. Oh. Okay, Ms. hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm sorry. Excuse Mr. me. Mr. Anderson. Yes, ma'am. I don't even have words. You just, you knocked it out the park. You got a perfect score. I guess so. The perfect wrong score, score but, but the perfect, perfect score in Apparently. There. I'm sorry that um anything that I've done hurt her because it was never my intention to hurt her. Oh, really? Um, it's probably never your, your intention to get intention, caught. And it's probably your intention to never to get caught at all. That's probably the one. Yes. Yes, it is yes. the case. Don't lie. What if I did you like what, that? What if she did you like that? Or whatever and then she screwed around that came home to you. The truth of the matter is I don't even know what you do because you never come home at all. And I and I wonder why. Whatever then she's coming home to. Ms. Allen, uh, you came here to get, get some answers. answers. Yeah, I don't. And you got answers. Thank, Thank you. you. This is a 17 year relationship on the line. It is. What are you going to do? She's I'm done. done. I'm beautiful. She's beautiful. Um, she can <laughs> date. I can date. She's done. She has. She has plenty of options. She's going to take those, those options. options today. You can't realistically go forward with someone who refuses to hold himself accountable. Absolutely. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. We have counselors. Both of you probably need to see him. But whatever it is, Dr. Jeff has the remedy for you. Thank you. Mm. Go and talk to him. And as we say in this courtroom, do not cheat yourself out of an opportunity to have a happy, fulfilled relationship. Court is adjourned. Thank you.